Hello, hello friends. I'm Kate and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is a spicy yoga sculpt class. So we're going to be getting our heart rate up. We're going to be doing strength training drills throughout and we're going to be building some heat. And I really like classes like these because not only are they empowering, but they, they teach us and they train us to have kindness and ease in the face of challenges. And if we can do that on the mat, we can take that off the mat into our everyday life outside of this asana practice. So when you're ready to fire it up, let's go. All right, all right, friends. So we are gonna be bringing the heat and creating beautiful energy today, but we're gonna start off this class with a little bit of stillness. So we're just gonna arrive really sweetly in the back of our mat, child's pose. So wide knees, big toes come to touch and fold it in. Maybe you bring your forehead to the mat and really get grounded and reach your hips back on your heels as well. And just start to bring your awareness to your breath and notice that even when you just bring your awareness to it, it starts to deepen naturally. And we'll start to be intentional with our breath. So Big inhale through the nose and exhale out the mouth. Inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. One more time, inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. And seal the lips and inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. See if you can constrict the back of your throat just a little bit to bring in that ujjayi breath, that big ocean breath that allows us to exhale for longer and regulate our breathing. Take a few rounds there, just getting into the rhythm of your breath. And then click your hips in or your knees in to hip distance apart. And on your next inhale, breathe up to tabletop. And then exhale it back to child's pose, just moving with our breath. Then inhale it up and maybe you round through the back, bring in a little cat cow motion here. And exhale, send it back, child's pose. Maybe you look up as you go back. So inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Two more. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Last one. We're going to stay here in tabletop. And we're going to take some push ups, create some heat right away so our knees are under our hips, and you can always bring your knees closer to your hands for less intensity, and these don't need to be big, but we're gonna go down and up, down and up. Keep your elbows by your side, down and up, down and up. They don't need to go all the way down. We're just warming up our arms. And then take your hands wide, bring them off the mat, wide armed push up. Maybe you could have a little bit more depth here. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One more, down, up. Come into tabletop. So hands back under your elbows or back under your shoulders, knees under your hips. 
And we're going to take hydrants. So lift your left leg bent and out to the side, then down, then up, and really lift it up at the top. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Square off your hips and keep raising and lifting. Square off your hips towards the mat. Square off your shoulders, so even weight in between your hands. And we'll go up, down, up, down, up. A few more. Up, up. And we're going to hold this up. Hold. See if you can squeeze it Ooh. a little bit higher. And then straighten the leg, and we'll take taps. So tap down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, squeeze it, getting into those glutes right away. Down, up, down, up, then plant the full of the foot on the floor. Use your core, raise yourself up to gate pose, upper body lifts. And then plant the right hand, wave the left arm up and over, reaching to the right. And inhale brings you to center and exhale your right arm up and over to the left. Inhale center, exhale to the right. Inhale center, exhale to the left. Inhale center, exhale to the right and hold. We're going to crunch in our knee and our right elbow, excuse me, our left elbow and our left knee up. So they're meeting right above your body. Big oblique work here. Then we're going to extend both. Reach them in. Extend both. Crunch it in. Extend. Crunch. Extend. Crunch. Extend. Crunch. Extend. Crunch. Extend, crunch, and hold. Lift them up a little bit higher. Maybe you touch them a little bit closer. And then extend one more time. Use your core to bring you back up to neutral. And we'll come into your traditional tabletop. We'll wash that out with a cat cow. So inhale, look up, tummy drops, tail rises. And exhale, round. A few more times, inhale, look up, exhale, round, inhale, look up, exhale, round, beautiful. Shift your weight onto the left side of your body now, raise your right knee up in a bent hydrant lift, so really lift it up here, and then we're going to bring it down and up. Down and up, down, up, down, up, down, up. If it's burning, breathe a little deeper. Maybe you do slightly uh, lower movements where you don't bring it all the way up. But you've got this, we are building muscle, we are building heat. So bring it up, then down, then up down, press the mat away with your shoulder, bring your navel in, so full body activation, up, down, up and hold, bring it a little bit higher, Woo! burning, but it's a good burn, then extend the leg, hold it up, and we're going to take taps, so down, up, down, up, down, up, straight legged taps, down, up, down, up, down, up and down and place a full foot on the floor. Lift your upper body up, use the core. Bring the left hand down to the floor. Right hand reaches up and over, gate pose. And inhale brings you through center. And exhale swims your left arm up and over to the right. Big side body stretch here. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. <sighs> Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Hold it here. And then we're going to crunch our right elbow and our right knee up towards each other. Then extend. Then crunch and extend. Oblique work. Crunch and extend. Crunch. Extend, 
crunch, extend, crunch, extend, crunch and hold. Bring it up a little bit higher. Woo, woo, woo. And then extend. Use your core to bring you up to center. And then bring both knees under your hips. Your body is still upright, but we're on our knees. And we're gonna do some transverse abdominal core work, so that deep core. So engage the glutes, engage the quads. We're gonna swim our arms forward as we lean back in space. Engage the glutes, navel in, and then inhale, come up, swim the arms behind you. So exhale, lean back, arms come in front. Exhale, come up. Mm, I forgot the breath on that one. We're gonna lean back, then come up. Lean back, then come up. Lean back, come up. Lots of quad work, lean back. Come up, you got one more in you, let's do it. Lean back, beautiful. Come up, come through your tabletop. Tuck the back toes and lift the hips up to downward dog. Walk out your dog here. Find some movement that feels really nice in your body today, right now. And we're gonna take this downward dog time to set a, an intention for the class. So knowing that this is a fairly intense class, what is something that you need to bring in today? Maybe it's playfulness, or maybe perseverance, or maybe just balance. Balancing your effort of trying hard with not taking it too seriously. So whatever is kind of floating towards the front of your mind is, is what's right today. So choose an intention that's speaking to you. And then we'll inhale it in all the way towards the bottom of our stomach and exhale it out. Beautiful, we'll recall that intention throughout the class. So bring the navel in, press the hands into the mat, inhale onto your tiptoes, and exhale lower. Inhale onto your tiptoes, and exhale lower. One more time, inhale tiptoes, and lower. Now we're gonna move through three sun salutations, each one a little bit faster than the previous one. So slow walk up, to the top of the hands, the top of the mat. Inhale to a half lift, shoulders down the back, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, each vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale the arms up. And exhale your prayer hands to your heart center, one breath in. One breath out. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back. Knees on or off the mat. Lower for five, four, three, two, one. Cobra or up dog. Inhale. Shine the chest forward, knees lift off the mat if you're an up dog. And exhale, down dog. One breath in here, one breath out. And step up to the top of the mat. Inhale to a half lift. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, root to rise, arms come overhead. Exhale to heart center, one breath in, one breath out. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back. Lower for five, four, three, two, one. Cobra or up dog. 
exhale, down dog. One big step up to the top of the mat. Inhale to a half lift. Exhale, fold it in. Inhale, roll up. Exhale, hands to heart center. One breath in, one breath out. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, plant the hands. Maybe you step or jump back. Lower through your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Roll up to a plank. We're gonna lower down on forearm, so forearm plank. Knit your hip bones up towards your ribs, so you're really hollow body here engaging the core. Walk the feet together, lift your right foot up. Soft with a face, easy breathing here. Lower the right foot, lift the left foot. Lower the left foot, lift the right foot. Build on a little bit of heat. Lower the right foot, lift the left foot. Lower the left. We're gonna pivot onto a right side plank. So our right forearm on the ground, lift up, 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 leg go rainbow. So we're arching up. Your left hand can be straight up in the air for an added challenge. Lift your left foot in the air. You can also come to plank tree or any other variation that you'd like. Three more breaths here. And then come through center. Roll onto the other side. So left forearm plank, reach up, 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 arch up like a rainbow. So really active with the core. Raise your right leg to intensify. Really straight and active right leg. Maybe you come to a tree plank. For three, two, one. Come to, to a traditional plank on your hands. Bring your right leg or your right knee to your right elbow. Then send it back. Left knee to left elbow. Then send it back. Right knee to right elbow. Send it back. Left knee, left elbow. Send it back. Then take your flow through your chaturanga. Inhale to your up dog. Knees are active, lift, lifting towards the sky. And exhale, down dog. One big step up to the top of the mat. And inhale to chair pose, Whew. firing it up. Bring your weight into your heels. So maybe you even lift your toes off the mat. Raise your hands up a little bit higher, sit down a little bit lower. Easy with the face, maybe a smile comes. For five, four, three, maybe a little lower, two, one, forward fold. Step it right back to downward dog. Beautiful. Inhale, right leg up. Pause at the top, three-legged dog. Use your glutes to hold your leg there. Point the toe to bring in the activation. Pulses at the top to deepen for five, four, three, two, one, bend at the knee, open through the hip, and take circles. One way, and then the other way. Beautiful, and exhale, knee to nose, but pause. Bring your knee into your chest, make space to step through, press the mat away, and then step it through. Windmill the arms up, back heel comes down, warrior two. <sighs> Sink deep into your front knee, weight evenly distributed between your front and back foot. 
shoulders down the back. Strong warriors here, five breaths. You've got this. Find stillness. Don't mess with your clothes, your hair, your adjustments. Just be. Two more breaths in stillness. Strong. Beautiful. Flip the front palm, reach forward and scoop the energy back, reverse the warrior. Left hand can be my calf thigh or wrapped around the small of your back into your right pocket. Reach up, spiral the chest open, look under your right arm. Sink low in that front leg, keep it deep. Inhale to warrior two, just a transition. And then straighten both legs, click both toes towards the top of the mat, or excuse me, the side of the mat. Arms come wide and out, star pose. Heels in, toes out, sink into goddess or horse pose. So we'll come down, then up. Down, then up. Down, up. Down, up. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the core, that's the stabilizers. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Stay down and we'll do pulses down here. So pulse, 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 squeeze the glutes here. Pulse, 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 pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, straighten the legs, stand up. Exhale the warrior two, come back into it. One breath in, and on your exhale, windmill the hands down, step the right foot back to meet the left foot, flow through your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale the left leg, up. Three-legged dog. Squeeze the glutes, point the foot, pulses at the top to deepen for five, four, three, two, one. Bend at the knee, open the hip, forward circles. Then reverse it. Exhale, knee to nose, but don't step it through, just squeeze it in. Make rooms to step through, so press into the mat. And then step through, windmill the arms up, warrior two. Sink deep into that front leg. Balance your weight, soft face, shoulders down the back, strong, unflappable warriors here. Make your adjustments, then come into stillness. Settle in in this strong posture. You've got it. Unshakable. For three more breaths. Flip the front palm skyward, reach forward and scoop the energy back. Stay deep in that front leg, reverse the warrior. Open through the side and spiral the chest open. Inhale back to warrior two. Straighten both legs. Toes point towards the long edge of the mat. Arms reaching towards the corner of the room. And exhale to goddess pose. Heels in, toes out. Come down, then up. Down, then up, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core. Up, down, up. Strong legs, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. This one's different, stay down. Pop the right heel, squeeze the glute. Drop the heel, pop the left heel. 
Drop the left heel, pop the right heel. Drop the right, pop the left. And you know what's coming. We're gonna do both. Engage the core, engage the glutes. That's where the stabilization comes from. Maybe sink down a little bit deeper. For three, two, full body shaken, that's fine. We're strong. One, lower the heels, stand up. Exhale, warrior two, just as a transition. Stay for an inhale. And on your exhale, windmill your hands down, meet the mat, step your right foot back to meet your left foot. Lower through your vinyasa, meet in downward dog. Beautiful. Inhale, right leg up, pulses at the top while your left heel reaches down. Pulse at the top for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, knee to nose, hold. Crunch it in, press the mat away. Step it forward. Inhale, warrior two. Just for one breath in, one breath out. Flip the palms skyward, scoop the energy back, reverse the warrior, stay deep in your front knee. One breath in, one breath out. On your next inhale to warrior two, we're gonna flip our hips to the front of the mat, coming into crescent, so back heel pops. Hips point forward, both hands raise overhead. Exhale, lightning crescent, so arms float behind you. Weight moves into the front right foot. And on your exhale, float into warrior three. Back foot is flexed, navel is in. Easy with the face, easy with the breath. Slowly, slowly stand up, bring your left knee into your chest. Extend the left leg. Sweep it down, back behind you into warrior three. We're gonna do it one more time. Stand up, bring the left knee into the chest. The left knee straightens, left leg right in front of you. And exhale, sweep it back behind you. Touch down so, so, so sweetly and quietly into crescent. Your exhale sinks you in. Your inhale guides your hands skyward. And exhale, both hands meet the mat. Step the right foot back. Lower through your vinyasa. Meet in downward dog. Inhale, left leg up. Pulses at the top while our right heel raises or reaches for the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, knee to nose. Pause, bring it in, press the mat away, and step it through. Windmill up to warrior two. One breath in, one breath out. One breath in as you flip the front palm and on your exhale, reverse the warrior. Take the side bend, reaching up. Inhale back to warrior two. We're gonna switch our hips to face the front. So crescent pose, inhale. Both arms rise, back heel pops. Exhale, crescent, lightning crescent. Lean onto your front foot, tiptoe of the back foot, and float into warrior three. Find your focus point with your eyes. That's gonna help you balance, bring your navel in. Back foot is flexed for stability. <laughs> if you are falling, we're learning, we're growing, we're strengthening. That is also great. So come up to standing, bring your right knee into your chest. Extend the leg, and then slowly sweep it behind you. Warrior three. One more time, just like that. Come up to standing, bring the knee to your chest. Straighten the leg, and send it back behind you. Warrior three. 
touch down so slowly and gently into crescent pose where you're going to exhale and sink your hips in inhale reach the arms up and exhale plant both hands step the left foot back to meet the right foot exhale through your vinyasa inhale up dog exhale down dog Step your feet as wide as the mat, toes off, heels on, and sit back into Malasana. So crawl your hands back, yogi squat at the back of the mat. Maybe we reach our hands forward. Maybe we take a twist in Malasana, finding a little bit more space in our hips. Beautiful. Come all the way down to the mat on our booty right into boat pose, Navasana. So legs can be bent, legs can be straight, arms can be back behind us on the mat, supported, or out in front of us. Navel in, collarbones wide. Hold. And then low boat. High boat. Maybe you touch the heels of your feet. Low boat. High boat. Low. High, four more, low, high, three more, low, high, two more, low, high, last one, low, high, hold it, maybe you straighten your legs, maybe you bring your knees closer to your chest, and then rock and roll all the way forward, come onto your hands, step the feet back, downward dog, right away, just a little core break. We're gonna go through our flow one more time. Inhale, right leg up. Take pulses at the top to deepen for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, knee to nose. Hold it in before we step for three, two, one. Step it through. Windmill up to warrior two. Sink your hips in, one breath in, and on your out breath, scoop the energy back, reverse the warrior, nice and strong. Inhale back to warrior two. Stay for the exhale. On your inhale, switch your hips towards the front of the mat, crescent. Exhale, lightning crescent, shift your weight forward, and come into warrior three. Slow, like moving through honey. Stand all the way up, bring your knee into your chest. Extend your left leg. Send it back, warrior three. One more time, just like that. Stand up, bring the knee into your chest. Straighten the leg, send it back, warrior three. Hold for two more breaths, you've got this. We're building strength mentally, physically, spiritually. And then step back. Crescent pose. Sink low. Reach up. And on your exhale, both hands meet the mat. Step the right foot back and flow it out. Inhale, left leg up. Pulses at the top for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, knee to nose. Crunch it in. See if you could make a little bit more space and then step it forward. Inhale, windmill up, warrior two. For one breath in. And on your out breath, scoop the energy back. Reverse the warrior. Inhale to warrior two. Exhale to crescent. Shift the hips forward, back heel pops. Stay for the inhale. And exhale, lightning crescent. Shifting the weight forward to float into warrior three. Find your balance. Find the strength. Easy with the face. And then slow, like moving through honey, we're gonna stand, bring the knee into the chest, straighten the leg, 
Send him back behind you, warrior three. Stand, knee to chest, straighten. Send it back behind you, warrior three. Hold, two long breaths. And touch down sweetly. Crescent pose, sinking low. And on your exhale, both hands meet the mat, step the right foot back, or the left foot back to meet the right foot. And vinyasa. Beautiful. Step the right foot up. Nothing fancy, no pulses, no holds. We're gonna walk over to the long edge of the mat and a wide-legged forward fold, prasarita. So pull it in. Find some relief with your hamstrings, your glutes. Let gravity help you out. Maybe you sway from the left side. To the right side. Back to the left side. Back to the right side. And then click the heels in, toes out, and send your hips to the left. Skandasana or low lunge, side lunge on the left. So both heels firmly on the floor. Your right leg is straight, right toe is faced up towards the sky, very active to bring the stretch down through the calf and through the bottom of the feet. So maybe just play here. Find a really long spine. Keep the pelvic floor engaged. And float on over to the other side. And we'll float to the left side. Maybe this time you take a twist, bringing your left hand out, anchoring it to the ground, and spiraling your chest open. Reach the right arm up. Beautiful. Switch it on over to the other side. Anchor your right hand out. Spiral your chest up, reach the left hand up in space. Beautiful. Slowly start to extend both legs, coming back into a wide-legged forward fold. Shift towards the top of the mat and press back into downward dog. One breath here. Then step your left foot up with your toes outside of the mat, your heel on the mat, and your right foot up, toes off the mat, heels on the mat, and sit down into your yogi squat. With all that hip action, hip opening, maybe you feel a little open mobility here to sit quite deep in your malasana. And then swim your right hand back, swim your left hand back towards the middle of the mat. Point your fingers back towards your feet and click your feet in to hips distance apart. Squeeze the glutes and have that lift your hips skyward. Reverse tabletop, press through the shoulders, open through the chest. Option to straighten the legs for a straight leg tabletop. Really squeeze the glutes, but bring the navel in. And then lower it all down. Beautiful. Keep the left leg out long. Bring the right foot in towards the inner thigh. 
Inhale to a really long spine, then exhale, fold over your left leg. We're slowing down here. So regulate your breath. Start to build a longer rhythm of inhales and exhales. Maybe you start to seamlessly stitch the top of your inhale to the bottom of your exhale together for a circular breathing. Beautiful. On your inhale, come up to a straight long spine, sitting upward. Plant your right hand by your right hip. Press into your left foot and lift your hips off the floor for a mini wild thing variation. Reach your left hand back in space, open through the chest. Exhale, hips come down. Fold over your left leg. We'll do that two more times. Inhale, come up, hand plants, hips rise. Squeeze the glutes forward, open through the chest. Exhale, lower and fold. On your next inhale, Right hand plants, lift the hips, wild thing. Hold this one, squeeze the glutes a little bit more forward, open through the chest just a little bit more. And exhale, lower it down, fold it over. And inhale brings you up and switches out your legs. Left leg comes into the inner thigh with your right leg extended. Inhale to that really long spine and lean forward over your right leg. So with forward fold, we want to bring this action of bringing our navel towards the ground, not necessarily our nose to the ground because we'll get this rounded back that really stretches our, our back and our low back more than it does our hamstrings. And since we're really targeting the back of our legs here, shine the chest forward, bring the shoulders down the back and have a really straight spine, then bring your navel towards the floor and you're gonna find a really deep stretch in your hamstring. and come up to a straight long spine. Plant your left hand by your left hip, press into both feet, rise your hips, reach back. And exhale, sit the hips down, fold over your right leg. One round of breaths here. Inhale, come up. Plant the left hand, hips rise, reach back. Exhale, lower and fold. One round of breath here. Inhale, come up, plant the hand, lift the hips. We're gonna hold this one for just a little bit, reaching the right hand back in space, opening through the chest, through the shoulders, through the hips, squeeze the glutes, send the hips forward. Then then exhale, release. One more fold over your right leg. Beautiful. Walk your body up.
take the bottom of the feet together and it doesn't matter how far away your feet are from your body. Just find a distance that's comfortable for you. And I like to grab onto my ankles, inhale to a really long spine, and then lean forward, bringing my navel towards the ground and my elbows into my knee to open through the inner thighs and the groin that can get tight from sitting a lot or standing a lot. So as we reflect back to our intention that we set, think about did you get a chance to bring it in during this practice? Did you get a chance to honor it during this practice? If you didn't, that's okay. And if you did, that's good. That means it maybe resonated deeper with what you need right now. But either way, if, if you wanna tap back into that and maybe take a posture that really resonates with your intention, then I really encourage you to do so. So maybe you need a playful posture, maybe you need a balancing posture, maybe you need something really, really relaxing. You have 10 long, slow breaths to move into whatever will suit you right now. And for anyone else, you can continue breathing with me in butterfly pose. Slowly, slowly start to come up. Maybe you close down the eyes really gently and take an easy seat. We'll take a, a last little twist here. So bring your left hand to your right knee and twist to the right, looking over your right shoulder. And then breathe into center to neutral. And exhale, bring your right knee or your right hand to your left knee and look back over your left shoulder. Beautiful. Come to center, prayer hands right at your heart. Have a deep sense of gratitude for your current health as it is exactly right now, knowing that there may be things that you're working on or you maybe wanted to improve. Just have gratitude for your health right now. One breath together to close out the class. So empty everything out, really squeeze it out. Fully empty. And then slow in breath, fill it all the way up. Gentle face and a slight pause at the top. And slow exhale, release the shoulders down the back. And namaste, sweet friends. Thank you so much for moving and breathing through this class with me. Uh, these challenging classes uh, are so good for the mind and the body. Um, and I'm just very grateful to share the time and the mat with you. If you like classes like these, I have a bunch more of different lengths. So if you want it longer or shorter, I got you. The link is in the description. And also a great class to do after this class, since we're all warmed up, is a yin class and really melting in 
to these postures. So a yin class is coming up next. Stick around for that and I'll see you on the mat soon.